Welcome in the seventh episode. Today we will start to implement the dragging functionality for our shapes. If you want to help support this channel, hit the subscribe button below this video, turn on notification so you will not miss any future content I release. Okay, so let's get started. So first of all, let's, op let's open our project and then let's go to the scenes folder and open the game scene. Now let's go to the prefabs and we have to modify our square image prefab. So let's open the prefab and inside this prefab, we will have to add a few components. So let's select the square image and then click the add component and let's select the rigid body 2D. And then let's set the gravity scale to be zero. Otherwise our shape will be fall down. The collision detection, let's set it to be continuous. Make sure the sleeping mode is never sleep and then rest of the parameters will stay the same. And then let's scroll down and let's add another component. And this time is gonna be box collision 2D, box collider 2D. Let's scroll down. And now inside your editor, make sure you are on the scene mo in the scene view so you can see the prefab. And as you see, we have added the collision box, the box collider 2D, but we can't see the boundaries for this collider. If you press this Edit Collider button, which is here, you will see the green rectangle and currently the, the size of the rectangle of our collision rectangle is set to 1 to 1 and 1. So we need to change these values. So I will set the values to be 50 on the X and then 45 on the Y. The reason why we're setting those values is in the later episodes, we're going to detect the collision between the, between the squares. So we want to have this collision to be a bit smaller than our shape. So there will be no problem with the overlapping objects. So you will see what, what I mean in the later episodes. Okay, so for now, let's stick with those numbers. And now let's press the small arrow and then save. Let's go to, the, to our scripts and then shape. And let's open the shape script. Okay, so in order, for our, for our shape to be draggable, we need to inherit from few of the interfaces, which is provided by Unity. So in our shape class, we currently inherit from the mono behavior, and then we can put additional interfaces we want to inherit from. So the first interface I want to put is I pointer, I pointer click handle. So we want to detect the click. And as you see, because I have the resharper installed, it's automatically added me the using statement. So make sure you have this using statement using Unity Engine event system. If I will remove this, this interface will not be recognized. Okay? So make sure you put this you put this using statement in. Okay, so we inherit inherited from the I pointer click handle. Then let's put another interface, I pointer up handle so we want to detect when the mouse is up then i begin drag handle i drag handle i end drag handle and then the last one will be let me actually put enter i pointer down handle okay so we need all of those interfaces and as you currently see everything is highlighted on red which is indicating that there are some errors this is because we need to implement the the all of the all of the functions in, in from these interfaces so if you select any of the interface and then press f12 on your keyboard you will see that for example for the i pointer click handle we need to provide the on pointer click function Okay, so I will just copy this function from here. I will close it. And then inside my shape class, let's scroll right at the bottom. And then I will put on pointer click. Okay, and make sure you're just put it, putting it as a function. And we need to make sure this function is public. So public. Okay, once you put the public, you will see the function is properly implemented. So let's solve rest of the functions. Let's scroll up 
and then I point and ring handle is fine now. So now I pointer update up handle. So let's go to the function. Let's copy this function from here. I will scroll down. Let's put the function in. And of course we need to put the public in the front. Okay. So this is another interface. Let's go up. Now I begin drag handle. I could use the shortcut on my keyboard to actually implement those interfaces, but I want to show you exactly what I'm doing. So I will just copy this on begin drag. I will go down again and I will just put public on begin drag. Now let's go up again. I drag handle, let's go, F12, let's copy it, close it, and go down. Okay, and we need to put public in front. Okay, I think there are only two left. So I end drag handle, let's go inside, let's copy end on and drag function, close it, and go down, and let's put it here, public, paste it on and drag, and then let's go to the last one, I pointer down handle, go inside, copy on pointer down, close it, and then let's scroll down, public and that's it okay so i think we have all of the functions which are required for us to actually manipulate the shape let's go up and as you see the red line the red highlight disappeared because we have implemented every single function from this interface okay so there should be no error so now if i will save everything and when i go to the unity you will see in the console there is no errors okay so make sure you, you implement everything the same as me. Okay, so let's go back to the to our shape script. And now let's actually start to implementing the dragging behavior. Okay, so I will just put a few public variables. So as you currently know, all of the all of the squares are scaled down for the shape. So when we actually select the shape, we want to scale the shape up. So there will be a very nice indication that this 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 is the selected shape. So I will just put the public variable and then vector3 and I will call it shape selected scale okay then let's add a few per private variables so below the below the current shape I will put another private variable so private and it's gonna be the vector3 and I will call it shape start scale Okay, so we want to capture the start scale. So once we release the shape, the shape will be go back to the to the starting scale, whatever we set. And then we need to capture the transform. So private rec transform, and I will call it transform. Okay, and now below let's implement the awake function. So public void awake. Okay, and inside the awake function, we first of all want to capture our shape start scale. So, shape start scale will be equal to this dot get component, and we want to get component of the type of the rect transform dot local scale. Okay, so we want to capture the local scale, then we want to set the transform to be equal to this dot get component and we want to get the rec transform and then there are actually two more variables which we need to add so right above this function below the transform let's add the private bool 
shape draggable will be equal to true and then another variable which is the canvas so private canvas and then we call it canvas so we want to capture the canvas the current canvas where we actually inserting our shapes so inside the awake function let's actually initialize our canvas so canvas will be equal to get component in parent and we want to get the type of the canvas okay so this way we can capture the canvas and then let's set the shape draggable to be equal to true again okay in the awake awake function so now we can actually remove the start method we won't need it and now let's actually go by scroll down to our functions which we just added and then first of all we want to implement on begin drag so on the on begin drag will be executed whenever we select this shape and then move our mouse so we inside this function we want to call this dot get component rect transform dot local scale will be equal to shape selected scale so first of all we want to scale the shape up okay so that's it for now what we want to do inside this function now let's go to our on drag function and inside this function we want to get our transform dot unhold min will be equal to new vector 2 and we want to put the 0 0 okay and then transform dot unhold max will be equal to new vector 2 0 0 and then transform dot pivot be equal to new vector 2 and then 0 0 okay and then now we want to get the vector 2 I will call it pause this is going to be the temporary value and now we want to call the rect transform utility dot screen point to local point in rectangle okay so we want to get the correct correct coordination for our for the position of the shape and now let's pass the canvas dot transform as the rect transform okay so we want to get the size of the canvas let's press enter then we want to pass our event data from this function so event data dot position and now camera main and then out pause okay so we want to get get our position to our pause variable and now we want to call our transform dot local position will be equal to pause plus offset okay so i think we have forgot to implement the offset variable so the offset variable will be the the amount we want to move the shape above our mouse okay or our finger on the phone so let's quickly add this variable to our class so let's scroll up and below the shape selected scale let's put the public vector 2 and i will call it offset will be equal to new vector 2 and let's set it to 0f and then 700f okay so this is the value i want to set you can set different value and you can test it later if you like but i will stick with those values you can set it the same as me and now let's actually scroll down again to our on drag function 
and as you see our offset variable is now recognized so everything is fine so make sure you call this one transform.local scale will be equal to pos dot pos plus offset okay and then on and drag function we want to call this dot get component component of the rect transform dot local scale will be equal to shape start scale okay so we want to put back our scale so let's actually test this code now so let's save everything and now we can go back to our unity and now let's go to our prefabs and then shape and as you see shape selected scale is currently set to zero so we want to change this so shape selected scale i will set it on the x to be 0 0.8 on the y to be 0 0.8 and on the z 0 0.8 okay and i will leave the offset as zero and then 700 and now we i will press this arrow save and let's let's actually test our game now so let's press play when we select the shape and then we start moving as you see the shape is a bit bigger and then when we put it the shape is going down okay so this is exactly what we wanna so we can move any shape we like on the screen and we can position it any in any space Okay, as you see, there is some issues when placing and some shapes are rotating. So let's press play again and let's see. Okay, as you see, those two shapes are colliding. When they colliding, there is a funny behavior because they colliding each other, okay? So we're going to fix this issue in the next episodes. But for now, we have implemented, finally implemented the dragging behavior. So you can drag and drop the shape in any, any space on your screen. Okay, so that's it for today. In the next episode, we will implement the behavior to actually place our shape onto the grid. So you will see the, the shadow of the shape on the grid and once you release the shape the shape will will be just placed on the grid okay and then you will see the shape placed on the grid so you will not have any issue with two shapes colliding okay so that's it for this episode again if you like this series please consider subscribing to this channel and leave a like any issue with the implementation leave me a comment below this video so thank you for watching and I will see you again in the next episode.